Hey, welcome to Yup, I Said It. My name is Andre. Thank you guys for joining my show. I really appreciate it. Uh, guys, please take a moment out to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell notification. I'm going to wait. I'm going to give you a minute. Did you do it? Did you hit the like, share, and subscribe? Did you like, share, and subscribe to my video? You got to do that. You must do it. It's free. Additionally, would you please watch the video all the way through? Pretty please. Anybody want to ask you for something? And you, and you know, you, 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 you want to do it. And you, you try to do it, but you just don't. But then what if you ask that somebody else to do something and they just ignore you? That's how it goes. Karma. <laughs> please watch my videos all the way through, guys. It really helps the algorithm. If you like, share, and subscribe to I think hitting the bell notification is probably the main one. I mean, I understand sometimes you don't want to watch videos. They're popping up on your phone, popping up on your phone. But guys, please, just let them pop up. <laughs> anyway, guys, since the mainstream media loves to make Donald Trump look like Adolf Hitler, um, we have to come out here and we have to show you what he's really like because people just don't get it. They picture him to be, you know, uh, some guy walking around with a machine gun, <laughs> okay, trying to eliminate people. Uh, Trump is nothing like that, okay? Everybody's made mistakes in their past, said things maybe you didn't like. I met people on the street. The reason why I'm saying this is because they got it all mixed up, man. They really do. And they think they're perfect, you know. <laughs> they're walking on water. So, you know, Trump, you know, he's a devil compared, you know, if you ask them. But... Trump goes to a church in Detroit uh, in the hood, okay? Trump is in the actual hood, son. Uh, somewhere where Biden's not allowed to come right now. <laughs> he, can't, he better not come out there. <laughs> he owe a lot of people a lot of money. Yo. He owes so much money to the hoods. The Democrats owe the hood like trillions of dollars. I hope you know that, right? <laughs> they just They owe everybody trillions of dollars, all right? So, you know. Oh, my goodness. But um, I want to go ahead and react to this because President Trump is actually talking real policy. He's talking about real change. He's not fear mongering. He's telling the truth. All right. He's going to talk about real things that, could, that, that these communities could actually do that he wants to do for them, that he wants to do for everybody. And this is all a part of making America great again. I'm going to go ahead and roll this and we're going to do reaction time. Very much. Thank you. Omar. Great. I'm excited to be here with you today, President Trump. I'm a restaurateur and executive chef at Table Number Two Restaurant downtown Detroit. We are on our way of being a Michelin star restaurant with the help of God and yourself. I'm successful now, but I started out born and raised on the east side of Detroit in the urban community. I give credit to the urban community because without them, it would never have been me. I grew up teaching young kids to push Dream big, work hard. I want our kids today to be dreamers, bigger, so they can achieve more like I did, and even more. What will your administration do to ensure our young children are given the opportunities and challenges to keep growing? That's my question, but I also want to point out publicly on record that when you were in office, Mr. President Trump, the African American community, the Latino community, the Arabic community, we all Sword. The money was pumping when you were in office. Big facts. Y'all hear that? When Trump was in office, they realized that they've done bet a lot better. Now, when if you haven't noticed that when Joe Biden goes to do uh, speeches or whatever you want to call it, when he's actually able to put sentences together, uh, he never gets questions. This is an actual real person that owns a real restaurant that has real concerns, and you he he's he's getting to actually uh, get his answer. His questions answered by the United States uh, former president. Uh, Joe Biden never does it. OK, you can't ask him questions about anything. Why? Because they don't have solutions. They only say that Trump is crazy. That's it. That's their whole entire, literally the entire campaign. Go ask Robert De Niro. Go ask Hollywood. They're, all they're going to tell you is that Orange Man is dangerous. He's a monster, like they said. Uh, last time I checked, monsters don't do this kind of stuff, guys. As a restaurant operator, I'm telling you that the money was pumping. And the money's not pumping now 
and we need to get back to that because it's ruining our economy. Right. Well, as you know better than anybody, Omar, the money was not a problem four years ago. The banks were lending and they were lending at very low rates. And now you can't get money at 10 and 11 and 12 percent. You can't get any money, especially for a small business. Uh, it's almost impossible. Uh, we're going to save our country. The most important thing we have to save. When you see Russian ships floating essentially off the coast of Miami, I mean, if you think off the coast of Florida, how did that happen? And the fake news, look at all of them back there. The fake news doesn't even want to talk about it because it makes Biden. Putin would not be doing that if I were president. And I had a very good relationship, but I had a tough relationship. You know, I ended the pipeline going all over Europe, the Russian pipeline called Nord Stream 2. He wouldn't be doing it. And uh, I will tell you the most important. Even though Trump got a teeny bit off topic, I think it's awesome and so important that he talks foreign policy to everybody, that he tells everybody exactly what's going on. Uh, no exception in the black communities. Uh, if, if he were trying to pander to these people, he would never talk about anything like that, in my opinion. All right, I think that that's absolutely great. Everything I listened to this entire thing and, and everything Trump said made absolute sense, especially when the pastor started asking questions. Guys, this is amazing. OK, this is what presidents are supposed to do. All right. This is this is how they're supposed to care for the people. They're supposed to come into your community. They're supposed to talk to you directly. Some of the business owners, because if your businesses are doing great, your community can do great. The thing we have to do, we have to save our country because our country is in trouble. We have a chance, a real chance at World War III. And, you know, we have less than five months now. Actual voting starts in North Carolina. If you take a look, that's going to be on uh, the 6th of September, 22nd of September is Pennsylvania. So it's not even November 5th, which will go down as the most important day, most important election, but the most important day in the history of our country. It's going to two things. I'm going to stop at your restaurant the next time, and you're going to give me the greatest lunch you've ever served, because I heard you do great steak. Thank you. So we'll do that. Thank you. Okay. And, and the other thing, tell your waiters and waitresses. Did y'all catch that? If he tells everybody that Trump's been to his restaurant, boom, that's an automatic business. <laughs> okay, did y'all catch that? <laughs> uh, yeah. So President Trump came to my restaurant. What? Where'd he sit? I think that's amazing for his business. But uh, I love the way Trump is just communicating with it. He's a very natural person around uh, everybody. Did you, can you see that? We got a good guy right here, bro. Uh, only, now, only God is truly good. But God has uh, really blessed us with someone who cares about all of us. And the mainstream media is going to make it seem like he's a devil. And it's not true. And anybody else getting tips, because there are a lot of people get tips, uh, uh, car attendants and caddies and a lot of different people get tips. Uh, we are not going to tax tips. The, the tax immediately is coming off because, as you know, uh, the government under Biden just passed new regulations to really go after these people. And they're at a level like nobody's ever seen. It's, it's like uh, jail time stuff so, to go after your waiters and your waitresses and other people getting tips. So anybody getting tips because there are certain tip industries. Uh, the car business has a lot of tipping going on. Uh, we are not going to be taxing tips. It's going to end immediately. So thank awesome. you, Omar. Great it's job. Thank we'll you. see you at your restaurant. I'm sorry? Appreciate, we'll see you at the restaurant. Absolutely. I'll be there waiting. Thank you, Omar. Pleasure. Appreciate it. I'm going to have to join you, Omar. I'm going to have to come for that dinner. I just... Yeah. Well, good, to uh, listen, you get, you get a good meal, you got to take advantage of it. Absolutely. Uh, that's what I'm looking for. You're coming with me. Hey. Uh, so I'm going to go down to the end of the table. Now, Mr. President, this gentleman at the end of the table, look at that hat. That hat is phenomenal. I was talking about it earlier before I came out. It looks good. Thank you. It looks good. So, so Mario has... And I don't want to take away your story, brother, but Mario has done tremendous things in rebuilding his life. And I want Mario to talk about all the things he's done, he's been through, and whatever question he has for you. Um, okay. Well, first, just to say I'm, I'm happy to be here. Um, I wouldn't be anywhere else today. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Um, I, I had some issues early in my life, you know young black man in the city, I got incarcerated, and it just so happened to be under the Joe Biden's 90, 1994 right. crime bill. Um, I like right. 
Uh, I'd like to thank you for um, working on the First Step Act. First Step Act that reversed that. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Not enough talk about that. A lot of black men have fathers because of it, back at home, you know? That was big. That was real big. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, I turn my life around right now. I have six children, and um, I worry about their future. Man, I just want to say that you have a, a, a president right now in, uh, in office who literally does the total opposite of what President Trump has done and, want, and wants to do for all of us. Literally, the total opposite. Guys... We've got to start waking up. We got to share these videos, man. We're we're taking great highlights and, and putting them together that that you all can share with people. You don't have to sit and talk to them about any of this. Let us do the talking. Share the videos. Oh my goodness, share these videos because this is this is history right here, man. Absolutely history. These are real people in the hood. Democrats are attacking our kids right now. What will you do to protect our children Woo! in the future? Come on. Well, we're going to get your children jobs. We're going to make it possible for them to work. We're going to stop illegals from coming in because uh. your biggest threat are the illegals taking yep. the jobs. We have threats as to security, too, because, again, so many of them come from prisons and jails, from mental institutions, mm -hmm. and even insane asylums. That's a step above, that's many steps above mental institutions. And uh, we're not going to allow this to happen. And the first community, and this is open knowledge that's being affected and affected very badly, is the black community because they're yep. taking your jobs. And we want people to come into our country, but they have to come in legally. They have to be vetted, and they have to come in legally. So I think that's the biggest single thing that we can do in terms of the future because you see already what's happening where your wages are down, it's going down, it's going to get very bad. I think mm -hmm. it's going to get very bad. So uh, we have to close up the border, we have to stop, and we have to, uh, we want people to come in, but we want them to come in legally and they have to come in through a legal process. It's so unfair to our country. Uh, Everything that President Trump's saying, notice guys, is so simple. It's very basic. It's, it doesn't take uh, a whole lot of things to do. I mean, on the, on the foreign policies, yes, there are things that, you know like tariffs. Uh, there's some balancing to do there in our budget. But the things that could ultimately make us successful are already just common sense: closing the border, getting the crime off streets. America already operates as a mega corporation company, like the biggest company in the world, and it's super successful. But all we need to do is basic things to protect it. All right. So that's all President Trump is talking about. So he may not go into really deep detail about the things, a lot of the things he wants to do on the world stage. But basically, it's all very basic stuff, just simple stuff, because it can already operate. That's the way it's designed. So Joe Biden's coming in and to cripple that. Uh, Joe Biden's let illegal immigrants in. Uh, they've printed up a bunch of money funding wars. These are the things that cripple us immediately. So that's exactly what they've done. Uh, and it's and it it does what it's supposed to do cripple us immediately. Uh, so all we need to do is reverse that and have someone literally have somebody in there who cares about all of us uh, and cares about the direction we're going. Because some people, it, the Democrat Party is out to sabotage everything. All right, I'm just that's just the way it is. They're not the old Democrat Party. They're, they're these these guys are they're globalists. And and President Trump said that many a times. Uh, but th th these are all very, very basic things that we can just do, man, uh, to protect. We have to protect. But I think that's the biggest thing we can do. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Thank President. you very much. Congratulations, Steve. All right. Yeah, guys, we have got to get behind President Trump 100% of the way. Uh, we have to really get out and not only go vote <laughs> like that's the least you could do okay that's the very least you could do right now this is a time where you got to say what what else could i do what else how could i get involved what else could i do because in numbers we're going to be able to be very successful but if we just do the minimum we already did the minimum in 2020 guys and look what happened we did the very minimum and they were able to get away with you know what so this time, take people with you, get involved in your community, uh, especially, especially if you live in one of the liberal cities. 
All right, don't take this for granted. Men, especially, I'm calling you. I'm calling all strong men. If you're a strong man, go call the election boards. Get involved in your city elections. Post up. Make sure. Uh, sometimes they don't allow you to wear your candidate's hats. You know, in my neighborhood, they won't allow you to wear a Trump hat. You know, it's stupid. But go there. Make sure you get on post. Talk to people when you're there. Tell them what's going on. If you know this stuff, please convey the message to people who may not understand, okay? Talk to people before election time, all right? Go out into the streets. Go out into the world. Tell everyone what's going on. Tell everyone what you see, all right? Prove it to them. Prove it, prove it, prove it. You'll be surprised what you can do, all right? You'll be absolutely surprised and shocked of what you could do as a person. If you're hearing this message, go out there. Because we have a country to actually save for real. All right. Trump is not lying. Uh, the Russians have uh, ships on the coastline and the Russians are not our enemy. So I want you guys to understand that it's because we're funding the Ukraine and the Ukraine is going to be firing missiles into Russia, into Moscow. Putin's not going to have that. He's not going to tolerate it. OK, my wife has friends and family in Russia. They're not going to tolerate it. They're very peaceful people. They don't want any smoke. But they'll give it to the people. They'll give it to people who are threatening them. And that's just, my, that's just my take on it. And I have family members. We talk to family members there. All right. So, guys, this is very important. Uh, you know, the economy would be so much better under Trump. That's a no-brainer. You should already know that. You should already have uh, looked back a couple of years ago before uh, Joe Biden got his crazy ass in office. And you should be able to tell what, what, would it, what it was like uh, then and, and versus what it is like now. All right, you should be able to do that. That should tell you everything you know. But if you can't feed your family, if you have a hard time uh, uh, paying your bills, this is an indication that the economy right now is bad. It's awful. Okay? You need someone with a business mind to operate the economy. And that man is Donald Trump. He's going to do well. Mark my words. He will do exactly what he said he's going to do. He will get crime down. He will get it way down. These governors in these woke cities... They will have to, uh, uh, he's going to make them look very bad when they decline National Guard because little children are getting killed. It has to stop. We have to make a stop of it now. Guys, th thank you so much for joining me. Uh, leave your comments in, in, in the uh, comment section, but uh, please like, share, and subscribe to all of my videos. Go down the line and watch them. Get educated. I, I do a lot of news clips. We do a lot of uh, talking here. You can share these videos. Go look at the shorts. Share the shorts. They're powerful. All right? I love you guys, man. I love you. And I want to see our country doing well, doing great again. All right? A lot of people are waking up, but we have got to overdo it. We got to overdo this. Better to overdo it than to, than to underdo this, man. We've got a big, we got a big job to do, guys. Do your part. I love you. Have a great evening.